rugby program has a very rich history and is one of the oldest programs in America. In November of 1872, Yale sent out its first challenge, and the challenge went to Columbia. And on November 16th, the very first official rugby game was played uh, in New Haven between Yale and Columbia. All of a sudden, there's an audience for these games. By the time you get to the 1880s, you're looking at thousands of people. Walter Camp is the most iconic figure in Yale rugby history. A captain of the team, Camp played a pivotal role in evolving the game into what we now know today to be American football. Of course, if you're going to talk about rugby and eventually football, you really have to talk about Walter Camp, um, a name that even if you know nothing about rugby, you certainly will have heard of if you've ever watched American football. Um, he started out as a rugby player in 1876. He had a passion for the sport, but um, for better or for worse, he also is the instigator that uh, causes the shift from rugby to football. The Yale rugby program has had many iconic figures through its nearly 150-year existence. Perhaps the most notable figure was the 43rd president of the United States, George W. Bush. He played on the team's first 15 in 1968. I actually found him to be a, just a kind of a regular guy. Uh, you know, there's a, we've got a great team picture from 68 when George was a senior. The, the, that group, you know, everybody did really, really quite well. I think if you had asked who was going to be president, people wouldn't have guessed George. But I, I always thought he was a really decent human being. He was really... He was a senior who was really nice to me as a sophomore. That's all I, that's all I can say, and I appreciated it uh, tremendously. When everybody steps on the field, they need to take a certain amount of responsibility that this is their property and that it's something they need to defend and fight for. You get on the field, you strap your cleats on, and you have to be a Yale rugby player, and you're an ambassador of Yale rugby's history. Rugby at Yale is one of those really, really special things. You know, I was fortunate to have been there when I was there. It really was special, and the, the mixture of people that you got from professors to graduate school students to doctors to locals to undergrads to, um, you know, Malcolm Cormack was the curator of the British Museum. You know, that's, those are unique things. But one of the real benefits, and this was the observation that I made, is as a result of that, I have multiple groups of lifelong friends. Roll on, roll on, bow, bow.